What's up everybody? Zach Hampel back at T-Mobile Park. You can see this big crazy roof and a whole lot of season ticket holders down that way. And these are my friends, Tim and Kellen. So this is the big day. I mentioned it in the video yesterday. It's the Ichiro Suzuki. What are they, retiring his number, inducting him into the Mariners oh, Hall of Fame? And they're using commemorative baseball. So I have absolutely insane tickets for today. These guys, well, we're not sitting together, but um, yeah, added difficulty challenge. I do not have my GoPro today and I do not have a videographer. So these guys, father, Todd, may film me a little bit, but I'm gonna try to capture all this action myself pretty much. So here we go. Toss it up. Hey, thank you. Hey, not bad for filming with my right hand and catching with my left. And I just noticed there's something else on the ground right here. Damn, I love it when that happens. All right, number two. Yeah, Kellen, nice work. Yo, Ricky, what's up? Hey, thanks a lot. You watch me? Yeah, I'm so happy. You want to see yourself in this video? Yeah. I can put this on YouTube? Yeah. Say hi to everyone. Hi. You got a ball? Did you get one? No. You want one? Yeah. Thank you. There it is. Well, good luck today, guys. Hope yeah. you catch some more. Yeah. Toss one up, please. Hey, thanks. All right, so the numbers are piling up for me early on four baseballs already, three toss-ups and an Easter egg. And by the way, I am now 11 balls short of 12,000. So the Guardians are just starting to hit and I'm actually heading around behind home plate, as you can see, to get back out to the outfield because I think they have it closed off in left field for now. So yeah, hoping for a big numbers day. And right here, this is Todd whom I mentioned earlier, I am gonna hand over my iPhone to you and um, he's gonna film me for a bit during BP. Hey Zach, how many rows back would you like me to be? Oh, uh, like just a few. You guys, I think I officially jinxed myself when I said I was hoping for big numbers. My friend Todd was very nice to follow me out to right center field and film me during Guardians BP, but unfortunately, they took just one group of BP. The players were being generous, they tossed a few, but I got nothing. So when they started hitting, I had four baseballs, and as of this moment, I still also have four. So that was definitely not the plan. And of course I am hoping for at least one more ball. Gotta try so hard to get that Ichiro commemorative. The entire reason for my trip to T-Mobile Park. I flew across three time zones to try to get this baseball. So we'll find out soon enough if it happens. And right now, while there is a lull in the action, I wanna give a quick shout out to my friends over at SeatGeek because they are sponsoring this video. Now, SeatGeek has given me a link that I can pass along to you guys, and you can use it to save a whole lot of money, 10% off any order on the app, whether or not you have used it to buy tickets. And I'll explain exactly how that works in just a moment. But first, 
For those of you guys who still somehow, late in the season, don't know what SeatGeek is, well, it is an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one easy spot to make it so easy to buy them. You can see up here on the screen what it looks like when you're using it. Oh, the whole stadium is open. And so when you pull up the seating chart, you wanna look for the green dots. You see all those colors, look for the green ones, not the red ones, okay? Because the green ones indicate that you are getting the best deals. And also SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to 10. So you can tell right away just how good of a deal you're getting. And also, I'm not done. It keeps getting better. SeatGeek has a buyer guarantee so you guys can shop with confidence. Now, about using this link and saving the money, here's how it works. It's so easy. Check the description for this video. You'll find a link there. And when you click it, all you gotta do is sign in or sign up and the savings, 10%, will be applied automatically to your account. So again, click the link in the description, all right, and you will save 10% off any order on SeatGeek. And listen, if you're not gonna see the Mariners, you're not seeing baseball, it's cool because SeatGeek, it works for all kinds of stuff. Any show, concerts, festivals, any time you can buy a ticket, check out SeatGeek first. How many want to catch the bar, Dan? Uh, four today. All right, I'm already up three. Nice. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. All right. All right. All right. All right. You got it. Huh? There's a ball. You're I'm kidding. a stadium employee, technically, so I hope that counts. I guess we're counting this. Dude, thank you. I go by Stitch God as well. That's what people call me. Stitch now. God. Stitch God, yes, sir. Now, what ball is that that I just gave you? Uh, 11,990. So, we're 10 away. Shout out to that guy named Stitch God. He is an absolute bro. And shout out to this guy as well. My friend Todd, who's also a massive bro. How you doing? I'm doing well, Zach. We have known each other since the year... 2009. When your older son, Tim, was how old? Three years old. And I believe he kicked me the first time I met him. He sure did at Nationals Park. I forgive him, though. And shout out to Kellen as well, who was not quite alive then in 2009. So, again, thanks to Todd for filming me during that abbreviated batting practice session. This guy is also a creator. You got a YouTube and an Insta. Tell people what it is and where they can find it. I do, we have a family YouTube channel, which is a lot of baseball and youth sports. Mariners baseball, we travel around a bit. Cook, in every stadium. Cook and Sons, right? Cook and Sons. And then a uh, street trials biking uh, Instagram called uh, Todd on Bikes. So you can see those both on the screen. I'll link to them in the description. Check them out, show this guy some love. And if you see him at a game, he'll often have a glove on his hat. So tell him hello. Now we gotta find your boys. I'm gonna try to find my friend Greg. And this Ichiro ceremony is gonna be starting up soon. He gave the sale in 2001 from Japan and made an immediate act on their game of baseball.
22 years ago, my life forever changed when I became the game of Seattle Clan. Amazing ceremony tonight for Ichiro Suzuki, a 10-time All-Star, 10-time Gold Glove Award winner in his rookie season. He won the Rookie of the Year Award and the MVP, over 3,000 hits in the Major Leagues, over 4,300 hits in professional baseball. So that is why you get the ceremony and special baseballs. And so, look, sorry everybody here in Seattle. I got the wrong gear on, but I am hoping that it will help me to get a baseball. So you can just see where I am right behind the third base dugout. So. This game is gonna start soon. They gotta get all those chairs off the field. And uh, yeah, it's go time. Here it is. So I was talking to some equipment guy in the dugout right before the game and he said that they only have eight dozen of these baseballs and man they must have gone through a dozen just in the top of the first so that is not good. Right now bottom of the first inning good pitching matchup Luis Castillo versus Zach Plezak as look who's sitting here it's Todd who has come back to I think take hold of my camera any moment. So uh, I got to do something and I got to do it fast. So close, yet so far. Oh my God, so many baseballs are being used. And that last one, by the way, was not tossed to a fan. That was tossed to the authenticator. So yeah, already I'm feeling like this is really, really gonna be tough. Bottom of the third inning right now. The Mariners are up 1-0. Eugenio Suarez is responsible for that one. As we have a ground out to Jose Ramirez. So now there are two outs. And Todd, who had departed briefly, is back. You ready? I'm ready. He's ready. So I have some good news, but it's also kind of awkward. Ready for this? The baseball that ended the third inning, the final out ball. I popped up out of my seat. I was on the stairs. I thought I was in a great spot to catch it. And at the last second, my friend Greg knocked the phone out of Todd's hands. So there is no shot of me catching the ball, but I did come up with it. And I'm here to give you a better look at it. Yes, I switched out of my Guardian's gear just for the moment. And I'm in this unusual spot by one of the exits. It's just nice and quiet and not that crowded here. I didn't want to shout in everybody's ears down in the seats. So, ready for it? Here is the Ichiro Suzuki commemorative baseball and I will give you an even closer look at it right here. You guys, I am so happy. Ichiro is one of my all time favorite players. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I flew across the country just to get this baseball. 
And of course, I'm going to all 30 stadiums this year, so I was going to come to Seattle at some point, but I figured, why not come here during this whole Ichiro thing and have a chance to catch something truly special? So, wow. I'm going to go back to the seats in just a bit. I also wanted to give Greg a little space, even though he ruined my shot, so he can hopefully catch one of these balls for himself. He is one of my best friends, and we always root for each other. He came and gave me a hug after I snagged it, so I'm rooting for him. This is overall my sixth baseball of the day. Uh, wow. That's all I can say. Just wow. Oh, hi, Greg. How's it going? Good. Ruin any good YouTube shots lately? Hey, hey. You love me. I do love you. And here I am. He's actually in my seat. The people in front of me, I think they left. And uh, here comes the second out. You know, if you get one of these balls, how are we going to celebrate? I don't know. You want to snuggle later? Oh, 100%. bottom of the seventh inning Mariners are on top two to one that one run for the Guardians was a Jose Ramirez dinger or as Greg likes to say a dinger. a dinger I don't know about that I like to call Logan Gilbert Logan Gilbert <laughs> but uh, no that's only two outs this guy needs to pay better attention The Guardians did some damage late in this game. They put up a three spot in the eighth inning to go on top four to three. And the Guardians players were being kind of stingy with the commemorative balls, not tossing them into the crowd. I think they wanted to keep them for themselves. So that made things extra tough on this night here in Seattle. Now, as the game was coming to a close, I moved over closer to the home plate end of the dugout. And I was right there when it came down to the wire. The fans were fired up. People had their rally caps on. Just immaculate vibes here at T-Mobile Park. But the Mariners just couldn't get it going. And this game ended. The final score was 4-3. to three, And I had a perfect view of all the players going out on the field and coming back in celebrating. I was hoping for one more baseball, commemorative or otherwise, hoping to get a little closer to 12,000. But... Zero baseballs made their way into the crowd at that point. So that's where things ended for me. And just to wrap this up quickly, I got six baseballs today and the sixth and final ball right here, the Ichiro Suzuki commemorative. It was thrown by Josh Naylor. Not sure if I mentioned that earlier. And guys, check the description for this video. You're gonna find two very important things there. First of all, the SeatGeek link, click that and when you buy some tickets, you'll save some money. And I'm gonna throw a link to a page on my website, zachhample.com, where I have photos of every commemorative baseball that I've ever gotten going back to the 1990s. 
I think I'm coming up on 140 different ones. So it's like a virtual museum. Definitely check it out. Now, the six balls that I got today, including the giveaways, it brings the lifetime total to 11,991. I think these people are fired up. So, so, security's coming. Security's coming. I'm going. Go. I'm going. Go. I'm going to tell you this quickly. Hello, Greg. Hello. I am hoping that I will get my 12,000th ball in Atlanta. That will be the next two videos if everything goes according to plan. If I come up short there, I don't know, but I'm going to two games of the Savannah Bananas after that. Any balls I get there will not count, but it's going to be rowdy. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that action. Uh, Greg, you're welcome. I did a better job filming you getting that ball than, uh, than I had done for me. But That's fine. You'll be all right. I love this dude. Uh, anyway, that's about it. And Todd, hello and goodbye and good night. Kellen, Tim, yes, we are out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm flying back home to New York tomorrow. Bye. Mwah.